Hi guys, this is Ravensley45 and welcome back to Honkai Star Rail. And today we're gonna be doing a live reaction to the 2.4 special broadcast to see what to look forward to. And just so I want to mention this, I finally finished the 2.3 story, so at least I'm all caught up for 2.4. So, oh boy, I want to know what kind of character we're going. And I'm pretty sure we're going back to the Law Fu since it was hinted doing the 2.3 special broadcast. A couple more seconds before we start. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. This program is brought to you by the Intel Space Corporation. For oh, Albert. Short, work pressure is really starting to wear me down. You got any medicinal recommendations, Mr. Jocho? <laughs> I have oh, hello, just the thing, Mr. Show. Take two mace of heavenward pepper, three tails of seven star chili, and half a caddy of millet pepper. Remove the seeds and grind together with a splash of prickly ash cooking wine. Ash apply cooking wine. Apply the mixture wine. evenly and rinse after 20 minutes. Finally, apply a layer of starch. Aw, that's a new emanation for Albert. sweat. Good for the mind. And the soul. Ooh, mine and soul. Oh, that hot pot though. That looks good. Dr. Jocho, Albert's not the only one exhausted around here. I should detoxify too. Well, Miss Yun Lee, start out by blanching some ingredients in a premium broth, but make sure it utilizes oh, oh, oh. plenty of Eat that hot uh, pepper. Premium dried ch chilies. Uh. <laughs> I see yeah, digestion issues eat that. on the horizon. Uh, some coriander should help with that. Stay your hand. <laughs> Return that evil herb at once. Return that evil herb once it came from. Unthinkable. Unthinkable. God damn it. And here comes the trailer for 2.4. Uh, coming back to this place brings back so many memories. Yeah, a lot of you memories. Know? Here you are. Everyone that slash little boba. Yangqing Donghan will be holding the luminary combat art ceremony. Your presence would be greatly appreciated. Gentle motion square. And what is that? A werewolf? Right on time. And there she goes with Yangqing blades. Get fucked. Hey, and she's barefooted. One well, stretch. one thing for sure, her and Cloud will go hand in hand since both of them don't right. use any shoes. Ah, uh, March with a boba giving to her master. <laughs> Of course you will, Mars. The shackling prison. Ooh, on this place is new. It's completely different from the a one prison on the Oh, perfect place for Hamya and Sui Yi. All right, Mister. What do you got in store for us? crowds gather, there is always an undercurrent beneath Because I remember surface. correctly, he is a nihility fire. Here, so do be a good matchup for Akron. My first meal. Hamya. Sway, no! That's like, what, the second or third time she got killed off in the story or something? Yeah, it is a werewolf. I wonder how this will play out in the story. Oh, face Chow? Oh, hell yes. She kind of reminds me of that one character from Ark Knight, which I can't remember for the life of me. Not your world has a day night cycle. Xianzhou Jiu Ming delegate, present. Xianzhou Yao Ching delegate, present. 
Sienjo Lafu Delicate Present. Good, good morning. morning, good, good afternoon. afternoon, and good Aw, that was sweet. And to all our viewers far and wide, welcome to the version 2.4 finest duel under the pristine blue special program. As always, your avian buddy Albert's here to guide you through. Hi, everyone. I'm Yuli. Hi, Yuli. i from the Jooming. And I'm Jiao Cho. And Jiao Cho. I may have the appearance of a chef. But I'm actually a healer. Are you Greetings, sure about everyone. that? Are it's you really a, a healer? More I like, you know, nihility, fire, than anything else. Studio. Now, the Pentecone vacation has drawn to a close. And uh, the yeah. The Astral Express is bound for well, a at least finish the story for Pentecone, at least. Now we're going to the Shenzhou. Which is precisely why this program has invited Shenzhou friends, old and new, to welcome Trailblazers back to an old stomping ground. Speaking of which, General Jing Yuen, isn't this your first time on the special program? It is yeah, indeed, this is his Mr. first Albert, time in the program. Granted, he was honored. with Keeping Up with Star but, but not with the special live delights. broadcast. I would never have delayed. <laughs> <laughs> bon appetit, General! I hate to bring this up, but our catering calls for this episode were kind of... Spicy. <laughs> if you'd like to leave a tip, God damn it, Albert. He's trying to make up the money Wait because what happened to Jade What's on the last program. What's do with you anyway? Didn't the pink-haired fox prepare it? <laughs> well, I'm a hot pot enthusiast, after all. Where I go, the spice follows. Your illustrious presence is payment enough, dear friends. Dinner's on me. <laughs> Aw, that's very generous of him. <laughs> Your delicious morality will not be forgotten, good sir. Ugh, let's cut to the chase already. Why are we here anyway? It's like this. I assume you all received an invitation from the Seat of Divine Foresight, welcoming you to the Luminary War Dance? Yep, it's a martial arts ceremony. Competitors battle it out in a flash of swords. All for the title of Sword Champion. As a matter of fact, the War Dance is a festival commemorating the Rainbow Arbiter and the Cloud Knight's triumphant resistance against the abominations of abundance. As you know, the Lawfu's Ambrosial Arbor Crisis was only recently resolved. Now is the time to regroup and raise our spirits, which is why we have chosen this moment to convene the War Dance. It is also for this reason that the title of Sword Champion will not be decided in this ceremony. It won't? Oh, I fear Master Yenqing will be bitterly disappointed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unfortunately. This war dance isn't only a morale boost. <sighs> Poor Yenqing. It's also an invitation to allies and friends, a display of peace, and an important duty for the Cloud Knights. That's why Yan Ching has taken it upon himself to accompany the Trailblazers for the duration. Ah, exactly that's right. nice. Yan Ching's gonna be following us in the story, even though a lot of people give him a lot of shit because of ruling their 50s. The 50s. One. Trailblazers will witness Yan Ching's assiduous side and his new identity. Wait, I new get identity? It. One person? Not enough. You need our help, right? Such a distinguished occasion surely merits the attendance of other esteemed guests. <laughs> of course! This Jianzhou Yao Chain delegation will be led by none other than the Merlin's Claw, General Fei Shao. Oh, General Fei Shao, I really can't wait when she comes out. Unfortunately, she won't be a 2.4, but I'm pretty certain she'll be a 2.5. And as for the Jianzhou Ju Ming, me and Grandpa, uh, uh, <laughs> General Huai Yan, the famous Flaming Heart will be representatives. Be they friends from near or far, we will welcome them with open arms. <laughs> this promises to be quite the war dance. I don't want to lower your spirits, but I heard that the Trailblazer's arrival doesn't always coincide with a happy... <laughs> I mean, wasn't everyone fighting in the trailer? Three Arbiter Generals in the same place at the same time not a good yep, sign. not a very good <sighs> sign having That's three generals in one place. Rumors are circulating through the alliance that General Jingyuan's conduct during the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis 
may have violated certain laws of the land. Really? Oh, come on. Could it really be he did that? help us out during oh, the situation, so come on, give him some it's slack. It's true that the other two generals will arrive on the Law Fu with a certain assignment. <laughs> if you want to know the details, then ready yourself for the upcoming Trailblaze continuance story. Let us refrain from needless anxiety. The Law Fu will ensure a spectacular war dance. Right, jeez, let's lighten the mood. <laughs> I want to talk about my legendary new Swordmaster Apprentice. Ah, uh, so March 7th is going to be using his apprentice? Oh, show, right? okay. Of I was thinking, you know, Jin Yu Won or, you know, Yang Jing or something, but okay. Martial arts journey. Stay tuned. We've got more intel on that coming up on the program. Which reminds me. The war dance ceremony is set to span versions 2.4 and 2.5. Oh, ah, okay, that's nice. The so at least been confirmed that the story will be focused on 2.4 and 2.5 for the Shenzhou. Witnesses to the Xianzhou Law Fu's ongoing story. <sighs> the separation has been difficult. We've missed the Trailblazers dearly. Ah, oh, you missed us that the much. Xianzhou Law Fu can bring everyone new and exciting experiences. Can't wait! Ah, the broth is ready. Shall we add any extra seasonings? Add them all! We gotta make the most of the occasion. It's not every day we get to catch up with the Xianzhou Pals. Oh, and speaking of Pals, version 2.4 will be introducing a brand new map. A the brand Shen new map? Oh yeah, the one we saw earlier. They're all in prison? Not all of them. Not in the traditional sense. <laughs> the Shackling Prison is under the Ten Lords Commission Administration. It's where Shui Yi and Hanya work. Mm -hmm. The Shackling Prison is where we detain criminals. It's cold, and forbidding entrance is located below the waters of Scale Gorge Waterscape. Of course, we're going back to Scale Gate that Waterscape. does look creepy. An individual must first stand trial before being escorted oh, to the Oh, the prison cell. kind of reminds me of the For Central Underground Prison from Bleach, crimes, to a certain degree. We reserve special cells of biting cold or searing heat. The interrogation. Wait a minute, is that the room where Wojcik Blade was interrogated when he was saying, You're not the one I'm looking for? Doesn't sound like an easy place to spring a prison break. You can say no that. No kidding. Again. The Ten Lords Commission keeps a watchful eye, and the routes to the cells are tangled webs filled with carefully designed mechanisms. It almost feels like I'm Those playing Boulder's Gate over again. Just from the environment. Test of fortitude. It would appear the shackle is a the werewolf of wolf-like monsters. It is a werewolf. Borison? <laughs> That's right. Borison? The Borison are ruthless beyond measure, infamous for their inborn moon rage. Upon entering battle, the Borison share stacks of bloodlust. When bloodlust reaches a certain number of stacks, they it enter the moon be really three rage stacks. state. Moon rage state. Enhanced. Ooh. All right, step so places. after like three yeah, stacks, they transform to those like enhanced versions, uh, which <laughs> begs the question, uh, how much damage would they actually do in that state? To go and express your uh, <clears throat> sympathies. Anyway, with the new map out of the way, it's time we talked about our new friends from the Zhu Ming and the Yao Qing. Oh, yes, Start please. With a gifted young girl, Yu Ling. All right, let's take a look at Yu Ling's capabilities in combat and why she's looking at fly like that. And she's probably gonna smack with her sword. Yep. All right, that fly didn't stand a chance. And I'm pretty sure that's her basic. It looks like a skill. I'm guessing this is her ultimate, where she take a big stance, summon her giant blade, and smack their bows with it. From the Sienjo Juming, a ship known for its unrivaled craftsmanship. But honestly, it looks show, more like some you know, fire destruction of because of the, the flame in the background. Comes from the artisans a of little Juming. misleading, if you Ever ask since me. I was little, I've studied sword mastery and weapons forging with my grandpa. Uh, I mean, the flaming heart, Quayen. Grandpa's always been nice to me. He loves me, you know? Miss Yun Lee is a talented young lady fascinated with swords. She sees renowned swords as treasures. Some say she can even communicate with them directly. To her, swords are more honest than people. She lives by the phrase, swords make acquaintances, fighting makes friends. Oh? 
It so happens that on the Law Fu there is an able young man with a similar love of the sword. Mm -hmm. I, I have a feeling an you apprentice. two might get along. You mean Yan Qing? He doesn't know the first thing. Ow! Shots swords. fired to Yan Qing. Like they're going out of fashion. Like I know a lot of people give a that. shit for ruining their 50 <sighs> 50 but still, he's a decent ish <laughs> five star in <laughs> the early like days, but not anymore. Everything in common. Mm-hmm. And not to mention. See the giant sword I use? Yeah, I see Forged it. Myself. Ah, Why she actually made her own sword. He's already stronger than anything out there. Weapons of this caliber usually get their own name. Which is true. Most Would people name their own weapons, feathers, so I'm really curious what finally, she actually named hers. Who understands swords? I gave him a unique name for the ages. And that is? Old Meadow. Old Meadow? <laughs> so you actually named your blade <laughs> Old Meadow? Well, then again, most About blades it. are made out of like metallic, but still, it could be a better they name than know, Old Meadow. Deep connection. Every time I get into a scrap, I ask Old Meadow, which one do you want to strike? Old Meadow usually says something like, let's start here and end there. To which I reply, oh, all of them? All right. <laughs> Old Metal's adorable manner belies his formidable stature. Yunli might be young, but she's confident and unafraid to speak her mind. All right, Each let's take a look, look what her, look her skills, skills can do on the battlefield. the battlefield. As a physical type character following the path of destruction, gentle persuasion. Yeah, it's not one of her really strong points. Style. When using my skill, okay, skill. I restore my own HP. Restore HP. Physical damage, physical damage is kind of reminds me of Firefly, enemies. but her Firefly well, gets her really HP regeneration when she uses her ult and attacks the target. Enemy. When attacked, she immediately and she's a counter a unit. Attacker, oh, interesting. Kind of like with There's Clara, so I guess, you know, those two go foe. hand in hand. She doesn't mess around. He yeah, especially when she smashed that bug. After using my ultimate, hey. I acquire the parry state. Parry which allows state. me to sustain lower damage and taunt And she taunts all everyone on the addition, field. Oh, that's so good. It just combines, like, you know, counter, phys like physical fire trail blazer <laughs> with the taunt ability. You see and it just falls up with a big ass counter. counter. One assumes that surprise attacks during exploration aren't a concern for you? <laughs> nope. When using my technique, oh, okay, her talent. I obtain a special effect Aww, for that's a cute. She's eating a dongo. If an enemy launches an attack during that duration, All right. the attack is blocked. It's blocked. And upon entering battle, I and launch she a powerful, a powerful counter. Aw, that's enemy. cool and looking. So it kind of intensifies like, getting hit by targets on the field right with her. <laughs> Which reminds me. And of course, she has her companion quest, which has been a while since we had one, because the last one we had was uh, Black Swan, and it was like 2.0 or 2.1 when we got that companion quest for her. Among the war dance competitors. Wait, you press something else too? Let's see! Uh, <clears throat> let's save that for another time, shall we? Now remember, Albert, the prize is for the war dance champion. Not the host. So if mm -hmm. Yun Li is also set to compete, yeah, if and she's competing she and she won, then wouldn't the wouldn't it go back with her? With her to the Ju Ming? <laughs> Not so fast now. La Fu has something to say about that. The Ju Ming may have brought the prize, but they ain't leaving with it. Oh, okay, so <laughs> if she did win, now. she won't bring back the prize External with her. Heat Wait a minute, that's the exact same line that Bailu said. said during her character trailer. Sounds like another difficult challenge. Yep, for another Jin. difficult challenge for Yang Jing. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Poor guy. So he can't catch a break. <laughs> Let's move on to another new character, shall we? <laughs> Hailing from the Yao Jing, and soon to be making his appearance. It's military healer, Zhao Shou. All right, Zhao Shou, what can you do in the battlefield? And of course, starting with his idol animation, thinking what kind of broth to make for dinner, and to start off, he is a fire nihility, so that would be a prime candidate for Acheron since, you know, he likes to put debuffs on targets and such, but a lot of you has mixed reaction on how he actually works in game because he's supposed to do one thing and then do another thing, so it's like up in the air if I really want to the pick Yao this guy Chen's up. Illustrious healer. <laughs> I've heard much about you. You're too kind, General. My visit to the Law Fu is only an aid of keeping a promise. You owe someone a tasty meal? Well, taste is secondary to nutrition, Miss Yunli. I'm curious, Mr. Zhao Cho. Under what circumstances would you usually open your eyes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Forgive me, but um, 
Your beef is overcooked. <laughs> <laughs> Your beef is <laughs> overcooked. Just to get him to open his eyes. Well, seems like culinary emergencies are pretty eye-opening. <laughs> but I digress. Mr. Zhao Zhao, why don't you introduce yourself a little more? Well, I am employed as a military healer to the Yao A military healer, even Feixiao. though you're not a healer You could in consider game. me one of her cool. retainers. I'm accompanying the general to the Xianzhou Lafu for this war dance ceremony. So, what's with all the broths and ingredients then? Well, you see, Miss Yun Li, I believe in culinary medicine. Culinary the medicine. That we are what we eat. Mm, that is very true. We are what we eat. Are one That's and like the same, saying a lot for a person. Which is why I spend so much time delving into the spicy miracles of medicinal cuisine. A meal is not simply a merry occasion, but an opportunity for food to work quiet wonders for our biological systems. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Why bother dividing the pot into nine sections if you're gonna eat from all of them? <laughs> I am a self-confessed chow hound, Miss Yun Li. <laughs> self the same I chow eat, hound. And then I leave. Oh, you oh hold on. Anyway. You can't leave Stop just it. yet. Delicacies aside, let's talk some more about that healing of yours. Before you came under General Feishao's command, you were well known in the Xianzhou Yao Ching's Alchemy Commission. You went on to cut your teeth as a military healer with the Cloud Knights on campaigns for the hunt. I heard you decided to retire, only returning to service at the personal request of the Cauldron Master. Hmm. Some people prefer work to leisure, I suppose. Well, I am fortunate enough to be respected for my craft. Some even go so far as to deem me a miracle cure. <laughs> As General Feishao's strategist, Zhao Cho applies his taste for spice to battlefield tactics. Combat is a bubbling broth, with each side occupying one half of Yun Yong hot pot. Ooh, that just Indeed. sounds delicious, Battles how you describe it. Like, oh changes. man, I want to have a hot Constantly pot right about now. In a dance of yin and yang. <laughs> well said, General. They say foxes are cunning creatures. Seems like Mr. Zhao Cho is no exception. I think it's time we took a look at what All right, let's take a look at Zhao Cho's abilities. On the battlefield. Well, about time. I am a fire type on the path of we nihility. all know that at this point. When using my technique during technique. exploration, I create a special dimension. Special dimension. After entering battle with an enemy within the dimension, I inflict them with fire damage. Fire damage, And there's all a right. possibility of following up with a stack of Ashen Roast Debuff. Ashen so Roast Debuff. We're cooking the enemy alive? Mm -hmm. uh, we are what we eat, and in this case, we're eating these monsters. The to sustain greater damage. And greater damage. Show lands on an enemy has a chance of inflicting Ashen Roast. Indeed. Case in point, if I were to use my skill to deal blast damage, there would be a chance of simultaneously inflicting a stack of Ashen Roast on the target. Ooh, okay. Did Does it also apply the debuff on the adjacent target as well, or just the primary Sharp. target? After launching my ultimate, the battlefield okay, ultimate. becomes an enormous Yuan Yang hot pot. Yuan Yang the enemies hot are pot. trapped in a searing broth, which Ooh, inflicts damage that. on each and every That menacing phase as soon as he At does that. At the same time, the effects of Ashen Roast are compounded for enemies inflicted with the debuff. In line with the current highest number of stacks. Highest number of after, stacks? A field so, appears, how many stacks can you actually get for this guy? Whew, all these hot pop visuals are making me hungry. Well, you're not the only one, it's making me hungry what as well. Yeah, exactly. exactly. What does this field Enemies actually do? Within the field sustain greater ultimate greater damage. Greater ultimate damage, you say? Action, Ooh, that sounds perfect for a certain a character. Cough, Akron. Oh, would follow that if, uh, for example, Akron wrong. Exactly as I was saying. You would be able to help her acquire <laughs> ultimate charges uh, more quickly. They're not beating Absolutely around the bush for, right. you know, having this character built nice exactly just for Akron. to dinner before showing them the door. <laughs> the last meal they'll ever experience. <laughs> Word of advice? Order out next time, fellas. <laughs> I need to do more deep dive well, if it's going to be very useful for Akron. Because sometimes the they announce the kit for what they <laughs> are, but the when you actually get them, banner. they're not what they appear to be. And, and then we have the banners, Yuling, and Hua Hua. Nice. I've been waiting for her rerun for quite a while. So at least now I'll pick Hua Hua up, and then when Yuling gets a raid up, I'll get her then. But I might get Hua Hua's light cone, maybe, potentially, but probably not. I don't think I actually need to roll for it. You certainly have a cat-like energy to you, Miss Yunli. 
Let's and then for the second half, you have Zhao Show and Hanabi. Ooh, that's very tempting. Jiao Although the four stars are a little bit backlost. Except for Gwen Ipin, if people don't have her. The drop rates for the limited and then five he's Light Tone and Hanabi's Light Tone as well. But wait a minute. I see a March 7th Light Tone there. That is new. Moment for our fox friend. Moments spent in the cool shade of an old tree should be used for admiring the surrounding scenery. Couldn't agree more. And I almost forgot. The version 2.4 warp banner. Wait a minute, that's a armory light cone, so it's not for March. Boys that's a little bit disappointing. Boom. She has the like, presence of Most light cones in the game master. has portraits of the character, but sometimes <laughs> they're a little bit misleading. Their training seriously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Without further ado. Let's take a closer yes, look. Yes, please. Let's take a closer look at when Mars switched from the preservation to the hunt path. And this is her idol animation. Okay, alright. Ah, that's very cute. Alright, so next is her basic attack. Okay. Of course, I have to keep the whole flower motif for her. Oh, this is her skill with a bubble tea? Alright. This is her own. Aw, oh, look at the D thing in the background and the boba there. And then she finishes it off with a pink stellar oh, jade for a, 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 Of course, March you had to put it there because, you know, March 7 is the face of Sorrel. And decides to learn swordplay from Master Imaginary Hunt. I still At least they're really busting on more imaginary characters compared to when you first launched the game. Now he's already passing on his knowledge to others. <sighs> How time flies. Mm -hmm. How time flies, how the pupil became the master. Well, technically, he's still pupil. But getting back to characters, I really hope they add more fire slash ice characters in the game so I can start building up for certain encounters for memory chaos and whatnot. But granted, I still have, you know, Silver Wolf, but it's still not enough. Not in his nature. Alright, you are, General. I heard that March 7th was a bow and arrow user. She was a bow slash preservation. Character. No doubt a challenge for her masters. I'll say. <laughs> not to mention Yun Li and Yen Xing's swordplay isn't exactly the yeah, same. Yeah, their swordplay are not well, March 7th exactly the same thing. Style. So yeah, it's gonna conflict with how they're supposed to teach March. If you're dedicated to the sword, you just need to swing it. Oh, swing it, she says. Oh, the sword and victory will follow. <laughs> well, we've done a lot of talking. Time to see March 7th. Hell yeah, let's see her abilities in March action. 7th. The All Hulk's right. basic attack deals imaginary damage. Of course, we know you know about this, skill, but her skill March though. Seven selects a teammate as master and presents Ooh. them with a special beverage to of increase course, their speed. Of course, has to be a bubble tea. What a good apprentice. As a promising young student, March Seventh has a keen understanding of her master's style. When her master launches an okay. attack or ultimate, March seventh acquires charges. Stacks. When okay. charges so reach a set she does like stacks, a follow up with the stacks. Oh, she gets an advanced again, forward when she gets a certain amount of them. Her enhanced basic attack deals set hits of damage to a target Ooh, enemy okay. with a chance of dealing further but hits. A chance though. <laughs> Just a chance. <sighs> She's a rookie. Of Remember? course, she guess she's a rookie. She has a chance for those things to actually activate. But they can't surprise you all the same. Depending on her master's path, her specific attacks possess additional additional effects from base who she picks as her for master. Example, masters on the paths of destruction, erudition, or the hunt can cause specific attacks to deal additional damage. Cause specific attacks to do additional on the damage. Of okay. Harmony, preservation, or abundance. Can raise the toughness reduction. Of raise the toughness reduction. Oh wow, that'd be perfect for a secondary DPS for Robin slash Wei Yi, for that matter. March seventh can deal damage to a target enemy while improving her next enhanced basic attack. Oh, that alt though with those DDs and the boba right there. That's just cool looking. There you have it. March seventh is humble and learns from all her allies. During exploration, for every time a teammate uses their technique. March 7th acquires a charge. Oh, at the start okay. Of the next so I'm battle. guessing it's like one per person. Using her own technique. But when she uses she her own technique, energy at the start of the next Oh, battle. energy. It kind of like Yukong a in a sense. It's privilege to have an apprentice with such powers of perception. <laughs> well, get this. Completing specific tasks in the version 2.4's Trailblaze Continuance will unlock March 7th, the hunt. Once unlocked, a path switching option From will be From preservation to the hunt. 
which are very cool <laughs> outfits for March 7, to be honest. She certainly but does have it begs the, the question, of a heroine. are we be getting free Isla on her? Because I don't think the preservation will carry over to the hunt, so... After the break. Either that will be rolling more copies of her on banners, or they're gonna give us free eye loves for her. Welcome back, Trailblazers! It's time we took a look! Version 2.4, Zaw New Events! New Saga Events! Here we go! Guests and visitors from Saga all of the Primeval Blade. But not Wait a minute, that last reward near the end. Is that Idol Nicey? Sure so I'm guessing that's where we IPC get the remainer of Eidolons for March 7 Scott. when she transforms the to the Hunt Pass. Very and of course, we get a new chat box as well, so IPC. that's nice too. Well, Scott oh god, to Scott again from the Hustle Bustle event. Is no match for IPC tech. Ooh. Oh, he's claiming that the ICP tank is superior to anything else. I beg to differ. For real? I think me and old metal owe this guy a beating. Or ten. <laughs> How about a hundred <laughs> while we're at it? As a matter of fact, your apprentice got a little impulsive. And impulsive, you say? <laughs> She's All trying right. to face off against her opponent in just 15 days' time. 15 days' time? Way to go, March. Are we able to assist Miss March in this endeavor? Of course. To help March defeat this IPC rotten egg, mm -hmm. rotten egg, Mr. Scott. Training. The goal? Develop a 15 day crash course in swordplay. <laughs> That'll be no days? problem with March. Crash course? Mr. Albert, have oh, you Oh, look at the, the design of the event. Makes waste. Have it's almost like you're in a comic the book. When needs must. Between me and Yen Ching, we've It does look like a comic book. Look at that. Crash course in town. Still, it's like on black and white. That's cool looking. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. It's like going from page to page. The fable seeing her progress as she goes. <laughs> Sounds like you've got to figure it out, Miss Yun Lee. <laughs> Results? Or your money back. I have a feeling Miss March will have some fortuitous encounters and I would guarantee you have a lot of fortuitous way. encounters. Uh -huh. Especially when she finally defeats Scott. Himself. The that encounters bastard. and sword training experiences that March accumulates will dictate the nature of the story. Oh, it will dictate how the, the outcome will be. will always be a solo confrontation with Scott. Though. The nature of and the showdown. Look at that. We only see three eidolons, so I'm guessing we only get three. I already hope we can get all of them so we can get her the E6. March 7th, the Hunt's Eidolon! With the combined assistance of her friends, surely Miss March will prevail over Scott. Absolutely. I'm pretty sure she will prevail against this bastard from the IPC. Because Scott is just a complete lackey for the organization. About. Wise words indeed, Miss Yun Lee. Oh. <laughs> Let's move on. Operation Memoria Snapshot. After Wait a minute, minute, what's this? I'm sure Trailblazers will remember with fondness their unpredictable old friends, the Trash Cans. Of course, and they can't forget about the Trash Cans. These old friends have appeared on the Sienjo. <laughs> Appear they have. And a medical intern from Penacone is on the lookout for an assistant. Their goal? To complete a series of shoots to uncover the secrets of the Marstruck. Wait, what? Wait, They're doing what? A trash can shoot? You better believe it. So hold on a sec. Are they basically and implementing like a mini game where we take a picture of a trash, trash can, can kind of similar to Pokemon Snap in a time sense? In the cosmos, there's nobody you won't um, encounter. Okay, trash never really played Pokemon visits? Snap, but I guess it's a <laughs> interesting way to do an event. The event. Trailblazers must use the photography software of provided course. by Randolph to take pictures of trash cans hidden among the crowds. Different trash cans mean different points, with some trash cans even adopting special moves. Of course, as he <laughs> flexed the picture. Do your best to get them all on film to maximize your points and complete the stage objectives. And a friendly reminder. <laughs> He's rolling down the stairs. Keep it rolling. Hating. Trailblazers wishing to catch them all will need their wits about them. Now this event Trailblaze friendship is, is magic. What? Your old friends have also appeared in They really do want to put a lot of mini games related to the trash can lore. Have recently been attacked by a shadow of unknown origin. To resolve this case, our trash can friends need the strength of Trailblazers and Bella Boggins alike. All right. And that's the end of the trash can related content for this version. I don't think that's the end <laughs> right? of it just yet. <laughs> don't speak too soon. As I thought. In the 
Trailblaze Friendship is Magic event. Trailblazers need to use specific characters to play the role of magician. Magician? And a special trash can comrade, Letter Pony, to fight alongside them. A trash um, can summoning magician. A trash can summoning magician. Um, okay. <clears throat> Does the sorcerer have any other... Notable I abilities. doubt he doesn't have any other talent oh, besides summoning people. Skill and ultimate will acquire all oh, look at that! With the power <laughs> to mini plow into the person. Battle. The mini cans attack and talent mini abilities cans. will depend on which character was used to oh, summon. Oh, it's dependent on which character they summon the us. Experience. Wow. For example, the skills of certain magicians summon mini cans onto the battlefield up to a maximum of five. Okay, maximum of five. The they just throw bombs out of the, the boss. And the more energy regenerated for the magician. Classic Bop. trash warfare. Well, get this. Some mini cans can even enter an ultra gold state and Wait, receive extra Wait, they can go bops. to Super Saiyan <laughs> 1? Get out of here. <laughs> God it. who wish to test the limits of magical trash can strength can And they're just like so kamikaze to the thing. <laughs> <laughs> The event will launch a new challenge stage daily, with okay, five daily. stages total, right. and cool, each cool, stage cool. split into two difficulties. After completing the initiation trial challenge, Trailblazers is gonna unlock the official trial difficulty for an even harder test. <laughs> well, we're we eating best. good with trash can related events, at least for 2.4. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, Trailblazers. More exciting updates after the following broadcast. Welcome and back, of course, we can't have a special program without the Give of Obviously event. We'll be seeing the return of 10 free warps in the Give Hell of yeah. second event. I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> Some comforts are here to stay. And of course, there's also now, of course, the double garden of plenty for Planer all the Fisher traces we can farm. Plenty. Remember to complete the and planet sphere feature for the double rewards, even though double double every time I try this, I don't get what I'm mm -hmm. looking for. And we haven't even got to this version's system optimization system yet. System optimization? Ooh, right. Are they going to be implanting the relic loadouts? The screen Please, relics dear God. Possession. Filter choices can be saved for a faster uh, filter choices. Process. All right, cool. Meanwhile, in the relic inventory, Trailblazers will find new quick lock and quick discard functions. Okay, that's nice. When choosing cool. relics for a character, How about, you know, relic loadouts according to the for Christ's sake. Relic set prioritization with the most suitable relics appearing first. All right, cool. <laughs> There's cool, also cool. a new feature for relic substat recommendations. Okay, that's We're nice. Wait, did they really have that in the game, or I guess they just decided to implement it now? View a character's most frequently used relic oh, okay. I mean, that's, that's, oh, well, that's new. So that's nice. Stats. And finally, when checking simulated universe interface and cavern of corrosion in the interastral peace guide, Trailblazers can see recommended characters. Oh, so for the it actually show recommend question. characters I'll to use for those it. domains. Now, That's nice. Even though I don't really think about it, I just use whatever I need to, to run those rewards. domains. 2.4 has added an advanced access feature for advanced both access feature. and events. So if a Trailblazer doesn't meet the prerequisite conditions for a given event, they can still experience the new versions of events oh, and missions. Oh, I know this you one. I experienced this during the 2.3 storyline where you can we'll get an early access to the Divergent Universe the by using that function. With advanced access eligibility. But <laughs> if they like gave the this icon, access to people, would it kind of be, you know, spoiling the areas for people as they progress in the story? Ready and waiting. <laughs> <laughs> In the mission catalog, missions with early access will feature a special icon. Maps yet to be unlocked will get temporary map teleportation access while also featuring a special icon. Trailblazers can freely switch between the displays for the normal map and the temporary maps unlocked mm, as a okay, result of right. advanced access event activation. And what if Trailblazers achieve the normal event activation requirements during the course of yeah, early Yeah, if they manage to achieve it, then what? In that case, the event will terminate the advanced activation state and the temporary map channel will close. Ah, okay. However, However game though. data will be retained and Trailblazers can continue participating in gameplay as normal through the event screen. 
Which okay, is that's good to know at least. Hands on the limited time event rewards. In other news, in know the, the universe. Future, a new episode of Knowing the Universe will be upon us. We've invited celebrated novelist Yoshiki Tanaka to be Yoshiki with us Tanaka. on the program. I don't really recognize Together, this person, so we'll this will be, be interesting to watch when they put it in our channel. The of the boundless universe. <laughs> 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 a huge thank you to Mr. Tanaka for his participation. Man, I can't wait to see that episode. And finally, intel on a mysterious Ooh, what's this? Destined for a long collab with Fate Stay Night Unlimited. Oh, 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 oh hell yeah. <laughs> well, technically, they kind of announced this in their Twitter page. <laughs> for more info, so, stay tuned something to look for forward for 2025 with Fate Stay Night. Woo. That and I really hope when this collab will have a skin for certain characters, like, you know, Clower having Ilya for Face Day Night and <sighs> vice versa, but like, please, I really hope that will be the case for this collab. Friends. <laughs> you guys should know how to get an old all excited. Will March be able to perfect her sword play? Three Sienjo generals in the same place at the same time. Who knows what kind of stories will unfold. <laughs> Let us all bear witness to the future of the Sienjo Lawfu. See you in the next one, Trailblazers! <laughs> <laughs> Till next time. See, See you, you next then. time. Hmm. <laughs>